Did you know that the number seven is so insane that it shouldn't even exist? It has a hard time fitting into mathematics for one thing, and for this reason alone, the power of lucky number seven is astounding. But is there perhaps an explanation of why seven might be a lucky number? Is seven much more powerful and mysterious than we think? Let's get started and take a look at seven insane reasons why the lucky number seven is so mysterious. Number seven. This might be the most obvious insane reason of them all. Did you know that seven is a number used in almost every religion? But why? Well, only God seems to know the answer to that. In Christianity, there are seven days in creation, and God rested on and sanctified the seventh day. There are seven last words, too, or seven last sayings of Jesus on the cross. In Islamic tradition, there are seven levels of earth. In Japan, there are the seven lucky gods. The Antakarana symbol is created with three sevens, which represent the seven chakras, the seven colors, and the seven sounds. But why is seven a spiritual number? Could seven be lucky because it somehow connects to God in some curious way? I'll try and explain this later. Number six. six. Did you know that on the seventh day something strange happens to your newborn baby? Don't worry, baby will be fine. In fact, after baby is born, baby will feel even better after seven days because the umbilical stump usually dries up and falls off on the seventh day. See, nothing to worry about, but a little insane, don't you think? Number five. five. There are seven notes in the musical scale. The seven note scale is actually pretty natural and logical and is based on another odd match, the Roman alphabet. Of course our ears can hear a wider range than this but the octaves that part each note are very similar, just higher and lower in range. When a new note was discovered, it became a natural stopping point. The insane thing is that although many cultures around the world were never connected, not even in trade, over time, each culture found these natural stopping points of seven musical notes on their own. Talk about an insane coincidence. Or is the number seven trying to tell us something? Is it more mysterious than we think? Number four. Seven is the largest number of objects most people can remember. When the rotary dial was invented for the telephone in the mid-1920s, they were worried people would misdial all the time, straining a young but growing telephone network. The solution? Chunk data to seven digits to deal with the limitations of the human brain. We can best remember seven numbers, so telephone numbers were broken down into smaller chunks. That's why we have the seven digit phone number today. Now you'll never forget another telephone number, right? Number three. I love rainbows, don't you? Rainbows have seven colors. The color wheel has seven colors too. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. These colors are visible through a single wavelength of light. Colors that are too close in wavelength are indistinguishable. Basically, they're like the musical scale. The seven colors create all the other hues, like the seven notes create the entire range of octaves. Another coincidence? Insane. Number two. Seven is used in mysterious ways. Throughout history, people and empires have been applying the number seven to cities, places, and things to give them inexplicable subconscious power. There are the seven hills of Rome, the seven wonders of the world, the seven deadly sins, the seven dwarfs. The opposite sides of a dice always equal the number seven when added. And yes, the lucky number seven too, which takes us to our number one insane reason why seven is so mysterious. Number one. Seven is so insane, it shouldn't even exist. The odd thing is that although it would seem on the surface that the logical mind invented seven, 
He can't understand it. Logic can't explain it. It does not fit into the mind's way of calculating. Let's break it down. The numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, and 10 can be created through multiplication. They create each other too. The number 7, however, cannot be created through multiplication or division. It cannot create any of the other numbers either. This fact makes 7 very mystical and confusing. The biggest mystery for me is that 7 can't be divided into pi or a 360 degree circle. Yet the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, and 10 can. Thus, if you see pi as representing the wheel of karma or the major arcana in taro, you will realize that 7 belongs outside of the circle of life and it symbolizes the power of the divine. Since 7 defies the logic of math, which describes our physical reality, it is therefore of a non-logical quality. Does it belong to that which we truly are? A spiritual self as pure spontaneous consciousness, perhaps? Does 7 represent the divinity in all of us? Or does 7 tell our minds that they are limited and not in control? One thing is certain, our minds are not able to explain and experience God as pure awareness or the true self or whatever you want to call it through logic and seven makes no logical sense. Seven belongs to the mystical, spiritual realm of the divine. No wonder it's a lucky number, right?